In this section, we will try to understand the sums given in exercise 3.2. First question. Find the values of other five trigonometric functions. One where one of them is given. Here cos x is given minus 1 by 2. And it is also given that x lies in third quadrant. So I will remember these things, the ratio of sin and cos. For that I will write this phrase. Old Harry and his old eye. So this ratio represents sin, this represents cos and this represents tan. Right. So right now I will not consider this sign and will explain the concept of sign. But right now cos x is given 1 by 2 so the ratio of cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse so I will draw one triangle we will take this angle as x opposite to that side is opposite adjacent will be this and opposite to 90 degree will be hypotenuse right so I will take my adjacent as 1 k I will take my Hypotenuse as 2k and we will try to find opposite by using the relation of hypotenuse square is equal to opposite square plus hypotenuse square. So this is 4k square is equal to 4 square plus k square. I will get 4 square as 3k square and opposite is 2, 3k. Right. Minus sign you should not consider it right now but keep it as you can see that x lies in third quadrant in third quadrant 10 is positive and cot is positive so purposely we will write 10 positive and cot positive whereas all other trigonometric function negative means if it is cos is given then i can write sec directly that is reciprocal of that that is minus 2 if i want to write sin x then it is the ratio of Opposite upon hypotenuse. Suppose it is root 3k, whereas hypotenuse is 2k, but purposely I will take this negative because x lies in third quadrant and sign is negative. So my answer is minus 2, 3 by 2. Reciprocal of that will be cos x. So cos x will be right. Do you know that tan is a ratio of sine by cos? So here sine is minus root 3 by 2 and this is minus 1 by 2. So I will get root 3. Therefore, cot will be exactly reciprocal of z. Therefore, it is 1 by 2. So we got all other 5 trigonometric functions. Let's try to understand the second question given. And from 1, 2, 5. The same logic is to be applied in each and every questions. So let's try the second and one. And I want you to try the third, fourth, and fifth. Here it is given sin x is 3 by 5 when x implies in second quarter. Yes. So you can, if you can recall that, then sin is positive in second quarter, then the reciprocal of that, that is cos x is positive. So here, sin x is given 3 by 5, and I compare this with the ratio of sin, which is opposite to hypotenuse, then I will consider this as x and the this will be my opposite, this will be my opposite, this is my equation. Opposite is 3k, hypotenuse is 5k, using 500 units I can take adjacent as 4k, right. So cos x will also be positive and it will be reciprocal of sin, it will be 5 by 3. If I am interested in finding cos x then it will be adjacent upon hypotenuse but will take it negative because it, it is in second quarter cos negative. So it is minus 4k upon 5k. That's all minus 4 by 
pi. The reciprocal of this will be mu z. So second t is minus pi by 4t. Tan is ratio of sine by cos. So your sign given is 3 by 5. Whereas cos is minus 4 by 5. The value of 10 will be minus 3 by 4. Whereas cortex will be reciprocal of this therefore minus 4 by 3. Let's try to understand it. Sixth question. Where we are asked to find the value of sine 765 degree, but I can write it 765 degree as 720 plus 45 degree, right? And as 720 is multiple of 360, which is the principal period of sine, so I can neglect this 720 and write it right. Let's try to understand the 6th, 7th question where it is given cos x minus 1, 4, 1, 0, 3. So I will take this minus outside as cos x is odd function. Now I can write this cos x as 1440 minus 30 degree. Yes, 1440 is multiple of 360. So I can neglect that and can write this as minus 30 again. Cause x is all function. It will be minus some sign outside. So I will have minus minus plus. And we are left with just cause x 30. So it will be 2. Let's try to understand the 8th question, where in 8th question it is given and 19 pi by 3. So I can write this as 6 pi plus pi by 3, 6 is 18, plus 1 will give me 19. As you can remember that pi is the principal period of time, so multiple of pi I can Neglect and this can write this as pi by 3. Now, 1060 is root 3. Right. Let's try to understand the ninth question. Where in ninth question it is given sine minus 11 pi by 3. As sine is all function, it will be. Eleven pi by three. Twelve minus one will give me eleven. So I can write this as four pi minus pi by three. As four pi is multiple of two pi, I can neglect that and I can write minus pi by three. As sine is all function, it will be minus outside minus minus. It will become plus. And cos pi by three that is sorry sine pi by three, which is sixty. So the value of this will be. Root 3 by 2. Let's try to understand the 10th question where it is given cot minus 15 pi by 4. Sine cot 10 and cos x. These four functions are odd functions and cos and sec. At even function. So, what is also our function? It will be minus outside. And then we have 15 pi by 4. Now I can write 15 pi by 4 as 4 pi minus pi by 4. 4 4 is 16 minus 1 will give me 15. Right? So I can neglect 4 pi as this is the this minus one is on one side and we have one. So minus minus plus and for pi by four is one. We'll note down some formula that we we use in our next exercise.
So I will write down some formula and I will also try to explain the logic. <coughs> we are odd and even function from 6. Two functions are even function, that is cos and reciprocal of that set. These two are even function, that is the other four are all function. You can be using minus sign outside that we have seen in the previous exercise. So this is the concept related to odd even. Then let's try to understand or write the formula for addition and subtraction of cos x plus y can be written as cos x cos y minus sin x sin y whereas cos x minus y can be written as cos x cos y plus sin x sin y sin x <coughs> plus y can be written as sin x cos y plus cos x sin y whereas sin x minus y can be written as sin x cos y minus cos x sin y we should note down these formulas in the notebook huh? Here we will try to understand one more concept related to the unit circle. So this is 0 degree, this is 90, 180, 270 and 360. And in lower classes you might have studied the formula of 90 minus theta. <coughs> Complementary angles that it is the same. But in this section, <coughs> we will try to understand uh, the formulas for pi by 2 plus also. We will understand the formula for pi, pi minus and we will try to understand the formula for pi plus. And through 3 pi by 2 minus and 3 pi by 2 plus and for 2 pi minus and 2 pi plus also. So the logic behind this, we will have two steps to find the answer of this. First of all, you should understand that if my reference point is P or B dash, then my function will change. Here you can see that the reference is pi by 2. If the point B is used, then my function will change. Sine will change into cos, cos will change into sine. Ten will get converted into cot, cot will get converted into ten. Sine will get converted into cosec and cosec will converted into sec. This is the first logic and second logic will be the quadrant. You should see where this angle is going in, which quadrant. If you have this pi by 2 and if I subtract something then my angle will go in first quadrant and in first quadrant all positive. That's why sine plus cos plus tan plus cot plus sec plus and cosec also plus. But if I make this pi by 2 plus, then again function will change, no doubt in that. It will, sine will become cos, cos will become sine, tan will become cot, cot will become tan, sec will become cosec, cosec will become sec. But you should understand that this time, if I add something to pi by 2, then I will have the second quadrant, and in second quadrant, S, that is sine. And the reciprocal of that, that is cosec, is only positive. So here, sine positive, cosec positive, rest on will be negative. So this is the answer of pi by 2 plus theta. Right. Now let's try to understand the formula for 3 pi by 2 minus and 3 pi by 2 plus. So I will just make 3 in front of pi by 2. Right. So as you can see that my 
the reference point used over here is b dash therefore function will change sin will become cos cos will become sin tan will become cot cot will become tan sec will become cosec cosec will become sec no doubt in that but if, but if you refer if i add something to 3 pi by 2 then my that will go in fourth quadrant and fourth quadrant c that is cos so here cos will be positive and sec will be positive that's how it will be negative right so this is the answer of 3 pi by 2 plus right the same way you will understand the values for 3 pi by 2 minus Here also the reference point used is B dash, therefore function will change. But this time the quadrant will attain will be third quadrant. If I subtract something from 3 pi by 2, then I will go in third quadrant. In third quadrant T, that is 10, and in the reciprocal of that, cot is positive. So 10 will be positive and cot will be positive. That's all will be negative. Right. So this is the answer of 3 pi by 2 minus theta let's try to understand the concept related to pi and 2 pi so this time I will replace this by Here you can see that the reference point used is a dash and always remember that a and a dash will not change your function. So if it is sine, it will be sine only cos then cos and then then cos and then cos, sec then sec and cos then cos. Now let's try to put the sign. As you can see that if I subtract something from pi then I will go in second quadrant and in second quadrant sign is positive and the reciprocal of that quadrant is positive is positive. Rest all will be negative. Right. So these are the formula for pi minus. Let's try to understand the formula for pi plus. So here as the reference point uses pi again the sign will change, the function will not change. Sign will remain sign, cos will remain cos. Right. But let's try to understand that in which quadrant this angle is going. Pi plus third quadrant. And in third quadrant, pan is positive, cos is positive. Whereas others will be negative. Right. So these are the formulas for pi plus. Now let's try to understand the formula for 2 pi. As you can see that the reference point to use over here is A. This will not change my function. So sign will stay sign only cos will remain cos and will remain B. And if I consider the quadrant then 2 pi plus it is going in first quadrant so all positive. So sign will be positive. All positive. Right. 
यानि फाइव टेक माइनस टू फाइव माइनस then again reference point use is a this will not change my function but the quadrant here obtained is 2 pi minus that is fourth quadrant and in fourth quadrant cos is positive this cos is positive and the reciprocal of that is positive you will be negative right so this is the formula for 2 pi minus theta Right. Now we will write the formula for 10 x plus y, 10 x minus y. So formula for 10 x plus y. Now we will try to write the formula for cot x plus y. So cot x plus y is cot x cot y minus 1 upon cot y plus cot x whereas cot x minus y is cot x cot y plus 1 upon cot y minus cot x. Now we will try to understand the formula related to multiples and submultiples. Sin 2x will be minus 2 sin x cos x. If I want to write it in the form of 10, then 2 10 x upon 1 plus n square x. Right. The same way if I want to write the formula of cos 2x, then I have cos square x minus n square x. I can write it as 2 cos square x minus 1 I can also write it as 1 minus 2 sin square <coughs> or if I want to write it in a form of 10 then it will be 1 minus n square x upon 1 plus n square x right if I want to write a formula of 10 to x then it will be 2 10 x upon 1 minus n square x in all this formula you can see that the angle is divided by the left hand side as the was 2x but if you will observe in the right hand side and the angle is x so this can also be said as half angle formula right now we will try to write the formula related to sin 3x sin 3x is 3 sin x minus 4 sin 2x Whereas cos 3x is 3 cos 2x minus 3 cos x. This is the formula of sin 3x and cos 3x. If I want to write a formula for tan 3x, then it is tan 3x is equal to 3 tan x minus tan cube x. upon 1 minus 3 and square x right so this is the formula 10 3x right in this section you will try to find the <coughs> formulas of addition of sin and sin that is sin x plus sin y right so formula of sin x 
प्लस साइन वाई इज टू साइन एंगल एडिशन बाय टू वेर एस कॉस सब्ट्रैक्शन बाय टू सेम वे फॉर मोनो साइन ऑफ 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 cos y is minus two sine x plus y by two sine x minus y by two. Likewise, one more formula is there. <coughs> two sine x cos y can be written as sine x plus y. Uh, let's write it in the uh, New section of the right. So the formula was two sine x cos y is equal x plus y plus sine x minus y, but it is two cos x. Sin y and it is sin x plus y minus sin x minus y. So it is two cos x cos y and it is cos x plus y plus cos x minus y. And it is two sin x sin y and it is cos x minus y minus cos x plus y. We will use these all formulas that we have seen in this video to <coughs> to solve our next exercise, exercise three point three, in the next video.